Hello guys, welcome to iNeuron YouTube channel. Uh, so guys, from past five years, we have seen amazing things that is happening in the field of AI. From traditional machine learning algorithms to deep learning algorithms, and now everybody is talking about generative AI. In generative AI, you may have heard about various large language models, large image models. You have seen various AI tools like Midjourney, ChatGPT, and many more. So considering this, we at iNeuron are happy to announce this amazing course on generative AI itself. Here, what all things we are going to discuss, what all topics we are going to cover, all those things I'll be discussing in this specific video. At the end of the day, why we really need to learn generative AI. As I said, as we are moving from traditional machine learning algorithms, solving amazing business use cases are becoming very much easy because of the generative AI and large language models. So let's go ahead and let's understand more about this specific course. So first of all, who all can learn generative AI? Whether you're coming from programming background, or non-programming background, whether you are a fresher, whether you are a student, or whether you are an experienced professional, this course is for everyone out there. Why? Because you will be able to solve some amazing business use cases in short time. Coming to the second thing, as we suggested, right, you will be able to utilize or harness the power of generative AI as various roles, as data analyst, data scientist, web developer, and software engineers. So. If you are a full stack web developer, let's say you have given a task where you really need to create a chatbot with your own custom data, then yes, generative AI will be possible in shorter period of time. Whether you are a data scientist, you want to create some amazing LLM application which can be applied to multiple domains, yes, generative AI is definitely for you. So as suggested, generative AI is for everyone. So now, right now in every industries that you probably go or in every domain that you specifically work, Generative AI is the thing that we should really know. One amazing thing about generative AI is that many, many companies like Facebook, Google, OpenAI, they're working on amazing LLM models and large image models. These models are open source also, and these models are paid tools also. So based on the open source and based on the capacity of your company or a startups, you can definitely apply it for your own business use cases. Now let's go to the next slide. What is the roadmap for generative AI and how, what all things we are going to specifically cover in this course? Initially, we'll start with understanding how we need to train these LLM models or how these LLM models are trained by these huge companies. How much data is specifically required? What all steps are basically required? What is the reinforcement technique that is applied in generative AI application? So as suggested, the roadmap is just so small and specific, but there is a lot of work that needs to be done. So coming to the most important part that what all tools you will be mastering in this specific course. As suggested with respect to any, any technology that we learn, the first thing that is actually required is to learn about a programming language. And there are multiple programming languages like JavaScript, Java, Python, and many more. As a data scientist or as a person who wants to probably get into the data analytics industry, I would definitely suggest Python to start with. So similarly in this roadmap, the first tools that you are probably going to master is something called as Python. Now, in our course, as we know that Python is very much familiar by everyone, so we are providing Python pre-recorded videos for everyone of you out there. In this pre-recorded videos, you will be finding everything that is required to learn in Python, from basic to advanced, how you can specifically use along with databases, what is object-oriented programming language, and the most important features in OOPS concept. Everything will be covered in Python in the form of recorded videos. So you will be able to learn Python at any point of time. The main focus at the end of the day is that we are going to create LLM application. So there you specifically require modular coding. So Python can be a huge advantage if you start learning this. Now coming to the second tool, if I talk about vector DB, now what exactly is vector DB? Vector DB is nothing but it is a place where you can probably store vectors, right? It is just like a database where you can store vectors. Now, if I talk about vectors, where does vector come into existence? So that is where we will be talking with respect to NLP. That is natural language processing. If you want a machine learning application to probably understand any text data, obviously the machine cannot understand direct text. So we need to convert into a format which will help the machine to understand things. And that is where natural language processing will come into existence. In NLP, we will be understanding how we can convert these words into vectors in a way that any application can probably understand. So our focus in NLP is to understand from basic to advanced. 
like what exactly is words, what are different kind of embeddings that is required, how we can convert a simple word into a vector where we can apply different different machine learning algorithms. And once we cover up NLP, and then at the end of the day, we are going to work with huge text data. All those text data needs to be stored in some kind of databases. And that is where this vector DB will be important. In VectorDB, we will be understanding various open source databases like Cassandra DB, MongoDB, and many more as such. After completing NLP and vector databases, we are also going to learn about some amazing framework which will actually help you to create some good LLM application. And that is where we are going to first of all start with one framework that is called as Langchain. Now, Langchain has a very important thing. You can actually call different kind of models. Let it be an open AI model, which is a paid model. You can also call open source LLM models through hugging face. So we are going to cover both those kind of models and try to create some amazing LLM applications. With the help of Langchain, you will be able to create application in a shorter period of time. So we'll be showing you how we can actually do that. So after we complete Langchain, we are also going to cover one more framework, which is called as Llama Index. Now you may be thinking why we have to probably learn two different frameworks. One is Langchain and one is Llama Index. Because these are the frameworks that is being used in industries, you know, and the kind of communities basically grown in this kind of framework is huge. So different, different developments are happening over there. So that is the reason we have included these two frameworks in our syllabus. And as a developer, GitHub is pretty much important. Every company uses GitHub or some other tools or repositories where you commit the code. So this will help you to understand what is the entire life cycle of any data science project. So in this also we are going to cover GitHub along with this we'll show you how you can commit the code, how you can merge the code, how you can collaborate in a specific repository. Then finally transformers as always suggested guys this transformer is a word that is probably coming from movie but with respect to NLP if I probably say for all the generative AI or large language models or large image models the base of those models is about transformers. So we will understand how does transformers work, what is the architecture of this entire transformer and how we can leverage it to probably create the further amazing open AI models or the other open source LLM models. So once we probably master all these tools, definitely at the end of the day, we are going to really cover a lot of end to end life projects. Now, what is the USP of this specific program? As always suggested at we at iNeuron focuses on two important things. One is the life training and the second one is super affordable program. Obviously, if you go ahead and see the description and you check out this specific course, the course is damn affordable and all the sessions will be completely live. We also have doubt clearing sessions and all the support that is probably required in the form of mail, in the form of community and many more things. One more thing that is very much important is the premium access to virtual lab. Now for running all this kind of LLM applications, you definitely require a high powerful system. You cannot just do with a normal laptop or a normal desktop. That is the reason we are also providing you the access to virtual labs. The reason we are specifically providing you this is that you will be able to create your LLM application also and you will also be able to fine tune your model. That is the importance of all this specific virtual lab. Coming to the most important USP, after learning all the tools that I have specifically mentioned before, we will be implementing lot many live projects. Now this live projects will include both open source LLM models and it will also include paid LLM models also. So that way you will be able to understand how you can consume those models, how you can fine tune your data and how you can create your own custom LLM models. At the end of the day tomorrow if you are going for any interviews in any companies, this live projects will be super helpful when you try to explain those projects in front of the interviewer in getting a job. Coming to the next important point is about regular assessments. Now in regular assessment will give you multiple assignments, will give you internship projects where you can specifically do that. You'll also be able to gain internships. The time period that you're probably putting in order to learn this entire program. Similarly, you can also start your internship parallelly. Coming to the final one, obviously we would like to also give you a certification to say that like how well you have actually covered the program along with the internship letter. Now coming to the most important part of this specific program is about the mentors. Who all will be the mentors for this specific course? Understand the mentors who are probably uh, over here, 
They have a huge amount of experience in working in the data science industry with amazing projects along with multiple teaching efforts also from them. So first of all, obviously, is me, Krish Nayak. I already have more than 13 plus years of experience in the IT industry. I've worked as a data scientist. I've worked as a data analyst. And from past five to six years, I've also been teaching. So the first mentor will be Krish. I will also be taking some of the topics that is probably there in the specific syllabus. Coming to the next mentor is Sudhanshu Kumar. As you all know, Sudhanshu is the CEO of iNeuron and he also has tremendous amount of experience. He has worked in big data, he has worked in data science, he has worked in data analytics and many more. Right now, he is the chief AI engineer in iNeuron. All the products that you specifically see in iNeuron platform that are related to AI, he is developing that too. Right? So, the good amount of experience and recently we are also coming up with a lot many things in our platform itself that is supported by this LLM models like support and many more things. So Sudhanshu will also be taking some of the topics that will be very much important and relevant that will be to the LLM projects itself. Coming to the third mentor that is Sunny Savita. So I hope everybody has seen the generative AI series that was been taken live in the iNeuron YouTube channel. So Sunny Savita is another mentor who is quite experienced in developing end-to-end -end projects along with MLOps tools and obviously the generative AI part also. So he will also be involved along with BAPI, that is Bakhtiar Ahmed BAPI, in creating projects and explaining projects, including all the MLOps tools that is required in the specific project, right? So all this experience has more than four plus years, at least four plus years with respect to teaching and six plus years with respect to the industrial experience. This was the entire info about the entire program. If you have any queries, definitely go ahead and fill out the form that is given in the description of this particular video. And yes, if you have any queries, you can definitely ask our counseling team. Yes, this was it from my side. I hope you go ahead and join this particular course. And yes, I will go ahead and see you in the course itself. Thank you. Have a great day.